it's me, and I'm streaming LEGO Jurassic World. Uh, this might be very loud. Um, turns out last stream, you could barely hear my voice, so I'm going to turn this down a lot. You might, you know what, you could not even be hearing my voice right now. I don't know. So, once I get the chance to, I'm going to turn this down a ton. Because I don't even know if you can hear my voice right now. I don't know. But you know what? I'm going to press any button on the Xbox One. This could be insanely loud. I have no idea. If it is, I am sorry, dear viewer. Well, it's going to get quieter, because there's no way for me to actually tell. Uh, so hopefully that is fine. Um, hopefully those audio levels are fine. I guess I'll figure it out later. Huh? Oh yeah, I really hope I don't get claimed. <laughs> I... I don't know why, like, it took me till now that I'm like, oh yeah, I really hope I don't get copyrighted right Um, because I literally just played, like, ten straight and Audio was a bit loud, okay. Um, I'll wait till after this cupcake came, but... On full full charge. Okay. Turn that down to five out of ten. You might get clean, but I don't know for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Those safe zone settings. Oh yeah. Please make those safe zones a lot more. I really thought about that. Actually, let me do the safe zones once the cutscene. Wait, okay, is that a cool view? Um, okay, how's the audio now? Is it still loud? Be truthful with this one. Like, can you hear my voice well? That's the better. That's the better question. Can you hear my voice Sorry. well throughout? There's no way to get up to the rat. Generator gets unpacked. Okay, much better. Okay, but see, but is that much better in the terms of like I can hear you better, or is it I can hear you good? Because the last time it was much better, I could still like it was still really hard to hear. So I'm gonna turn it down to six and see if that. Whew, how about that temperature, huh? I am so glad. Anyway, um, so yeah, I wanted to play Lego Jurassic World, and I thought, you know what, I'll do it in three. No um. You know, I've always wanted to Let's Play a Lego game. But, uh, it's one of those things where, like, Let's Play... Do we even Let's Play a Lego game? It's harder. You gotta, like, find a lot of stuff to talk about. No chat to yeah, handle with. Good it all um, so, my deal with Lego games, I don't know if I've stated this on a screen, but I go for every stud. Um, except for the Skywalker Saga, because that Skywalker Saga is weird. Anyway, um, me personally, um, Jurassic World, Lego Jurassic World, is one of my favorite Lego games. Uh, might even be my favorite. It's the one I've replayed the most. It's the one that I think has the best level design. Um, it's the one that I think has the best level. Um, in general, I really like this game. <laughs> um, and this is my first way, time. You do, I think Marvel Superheroes kind of has the same things. problem in my stream. I could, I could really come in and say about it, yeah. Um, I want tasers on full charge. Uh, so yeah, I've, this is my first time playing the Xbox uh, One version. Uh, 
Um, I've been kind of buying better copies of games, just so I can kind of sell the older copies. So, I used to have the PS4 version, but I don't get the version more. So, I got here. Here we are now. Yeah, I'll probably get claimed for this, but you know what? If I get claimed, so be it. In all honesty, it'll it'll be the first like actual claim that I've had on my channel. Or, or if I get striked for this, so be it. There you go. That's a better, that's a better response. Because I've I've gotten a claim. Um, I think my every video I have on my phone. I think both of those videos got claimed. Uh, for what I don't know. Actually, no. I, one of them was like um. So on, on my every single video on my phone from said year, one of them was real actual auto hours. And the freaking, like, song that everybody uses that I thought was, um, royalty-free apparently got copyright strike, and I have no idea why. <laughs> I'm pretty darn sure that song is royalty-free, but whatever. There's someone that goes... That song. Um, whatever. I mean, like I said, it got, it got copyright claims. Who cares? doesn't really mean that much to me. <laughs> I don't make money off the of videos, so. And I've never gotten a strike on my channel. I was close to. Um, only true Jabmaster fans remember the time where, uh, um, where I used to upload video clips um, onto my channel. True Jabmaster fans will remember that time, and there was a time where um, I uploaded uh, the entirety of an episode of The Amazing World of Gumball. Um, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, right here. Um, I didn't say, like, the thing's jammed. Oh, wait, no, duh. It's been a while. Um, But yeah, um, I uploaded the entirety of making a little couple of episodes. There, was, there were ads, in, like, there were commercials included into it, so it's not like just no cutscene. And also, it, the video was literally recorded with my phone, so it's like terrible quality. But uh, that is the first time that I actually was close to getting copyright strike. They said, uh, I got an automated email from the Turner Network or Turner Broadcasting or whatever that said, you know, you, if you don't delete the video, then we'll copyright strike you. So I just deleted the video. Um, Cage ladders jammed. I even remember when Somebody there was a time where I recorded uh, right when Sonic Boom hit. So this, okay, so this tells you how like early of a YouTube channel I had. This was right when the first episode of Sonic Boom aired. Um, so November of 2014. I actually, um, I actually recorded the entire episode. And uploaded it. Um, and it was on my channel for about two hours before I took it down. Um, but I do remember a comment saying like, "Oh, thank you for uploading this. I can't, I, I, you know, I can't find this video ever anywhere. You know, whatever." Um, yeah, only, only real true Jet Master fans will remember. When, when Sonic Boom was uploaded for two straight hours hmm. and then deleted. This might, this might be a stream that I might not uh, upload to YouTube, I don't know. Because <laughs> this is like, this, this is just the exact no, same dialogue from the movie. It, I'm literally just like playing the audio from the movie. Maybe one of the other dig sites has turned up something. I mean, then again, you know, there's been, um, there's, there's walkthroughs of this game on YouTube with, you know, no audio changes, so... You know, I, I I think I should be fine. Uh, all I keep finding are old 
coins. What? Really? That's amazing! Huh? How so? Well, until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture, let alone a system of currency. Ugh, remind me, what are your qualifications for being on this dig again? I own a spade! <laughs> uh, I gotta admit, I, I, I like the jokes, uh, in, in this game, the jokes, like, the non-movie, or, you know, just the jokes, uh, wait, wasn't there a teaser for Dimensions in this? Uh, oh my gosh, you're right! Yeah! Dr. Settler and Grant um, want us to be especially I forgot about that, yeah, at the very end of the fossil. game, um, after the credits, because for a while, every, uh, Lego game had, like, a Marvel-style... <laughs> Um, not that, like, well, see, well, for example, uh, Lego Batman 3, at the end of that game, um, it had, like, the end of Lego Batman 3, the credit sequence, is like the, uh, the, like, 60s Batman, uh, TV show, and it has Batman and Robin climbing up a, uh, a building via a rope, and a freaking just dinosaur comes by for no reason. <laughs> Like, a dinosaur, like, comes out from behind the building, and it plays the music and everything, and then you hear Adam West just go, Now that's very peculiar, or something, uh, hinting at what the next game would be. Um, but this game, I forgot, yeah, it has a, uh, a after credit scene where, um, oh my gosh, Alan, Alan Grant? Yes. Okay, good. Where um, Alan uh, digs up one of the dimension oh, pieces from dimensions. Yeah. I know there's other Lego games that have uh, hints at other at like the, the next Lego game coming out, but I don't remember it. It was pretty much only in this era. Yeah, it's good shape too. I gotta admit, you know what? A lot of people seem to say that like, oh, well, you know. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Batman, Lego Indian Hood. That's the golden era of Lego games. I think this is a golden era. In my opinion. I don't know. I just have a ton of nostalgia and a ton of love for... Like, Lego Batman 2 and beyond. I'd say it kind of stops at, like, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. Um... Because, like, the Lego Ninjago movie I didn't really care for. Um... Right under here. Lego Movie 2 I thought was yep. stupid. I, I hate Lego Movie 2, the game. I just gotta Never played Lego World. What else was there? It was like... Lego Ninja Drive and New Droids I didn't really care for that, for that much. Mine. Um, I'm trying to remember what other like games came out. Like, what other Lego games came out after. I mean, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 is really good. Game. I like that one. Um... But yeah, I'd say, like, you know, there's a... Just, the, I don't know. I feel like the LEGO games just got really, really, really high quality and really good level design around this time. Like, LEGO Batman 2, I love that game's level design. Um, LEGO Lord of the Rings, I thought was really cool. I love LEGO The Hobbit. I freaking love LEGO The Hobbit. LEGO The Hobbit's really, really good. Um, the only problem with LEGO The Hobbit is, like... The thing that stinks the most about Lego the Hobbit is that um, it it's only the first two movies. Um, I don't know what they were thinking, but my guess is that they just, like, is that some higher up was rushing them to get it out, like, before a certain time frame. So it only includes the first two movies. Um, which, if you know anything about the Hobbit movies, the second movie is a cliffhanger. <laughs> Um, let's see, you're not missing much for LEGO World, it's pretty It's pretty much just LEGO Minecraft, but with more annoying mechanics. Um, you have to go and find stuff before you can use it. Huh. Yeah, LEGO World, that's why I never played it. It's, a, it's not the type of game for me. I'm not too big on the whole, like, suit, like open world games with no plot, uh, have to they have to do something for me to really get into it. Um, like Minecraft, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. After I, my, well, I, okay, I'll give you this. When I first played it, I spent a lot of time in it. But I, ever since 
I had it on Xbox 360. Ever since then, I've not played anything of Minecraft, and I don't really bad? care to. Um, I mean, a, a game kind of has to have a plot and an ending for me to really get invested in it. Um, it's like Animal Crossing. Like, Animal Crossing, I'll play for a little bit when I first buy it, and then I will just kind of never touch it again, ever. Um, Is this so. glued in there? Come on. Um, I think Move. the only game that I actually did touch yeah. again was Tomodachi Life. I spent by the a time lot I of time in Tomodachi out. Life. Yeah. Um, even like a after my initial, oh, you know. Now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Even after my initial play, you know, uh, session, I played a lot of time in Tomodachi Life. So I'll give Tomodachi Life that. That one was a lot of fun to play through. Not play through, but um, that one was a lot of fun to you know do stuff in. And um. Wasn't Six there actually a credit sequence? Claw, like yeah. A on the if, middle uh, top. if one of your characters had a child, then it would play a credit sequence. But it wasn't necessarily the ending, it was just like kind of commemorating the moment of a child. Ready to try again. Honestly, <laughs> mostly what I've done Feelings is mutual. just make pixel art with the blocks like I did with the Shrek statue. Oh, in Minecraft. I was like, you did that in LEGO Worlds? Whoa! And then I was like, oh, Minecraft, right. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, the, the big thing that I remember about, um, about Minecraft is I made Bikini Bottom in it. And that was kind of fun. I give up. Um, give it a try. Uh, be careful. That rope's holding up uh, some, you know, uh, oh, don't get to call Delicate equipment. That's it. It was oh, holding these, up. These, okay, I gotta admit, these jokes oh, are like, uh, they're, they're so good in comparison to like the Star Wars of the Skywalker saga jokes. I found a perfectly preserved <laughs> some, I this mean, <clears throat> Really? Uh, no. That's mine. I had chicken legs for lunch. Like, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, there's some jokes that I find funny in that. There's so many jokes that I find so embarrassing in that game, though. It's a real hodgepodge of, like, good and bad. Um, but more leaning towards bad. Uh, I mean... Okay, I figured out what's wrong dabs. with it. It should have two wheels, not one. And handlebars. He That's does. why you fell off he of a No handlebars. I don't know why, but he dabs... <laughs> There's like, in episode two, um, there's like, for some reason, like, a dance battle with General Grievous and, and Obi-Wan, and it's supposed to be funny, but it just comes off as embarrassing. It's, um, so like, yeah, compared to that, I'm, I'm really liking the jokes in this game. Oh, and by the way, like a normal human being, um, I'm going to be going through just Jurassic Park 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, you know, they let you play World right off the bat, but it's not chronological, so... Oh, yeah, that's much safer. It was really hard to just balance on it. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. That thing looks like a six foot turkey. That's, that's not a <laughs> it's Got John Hammond! <gasps> yeah, Skywalker Saga's jokes are very mixed. Jar Jar Beast is here, but some of the jokes just don't land. Like the one with the ladder, uh, then completely ruins. I have the high one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Even the Jar Jar Beast, like, it's. it's 
I get it. People hate Jar Jar. Um, haha, funny. I'm, I'm sure every uh, funny man on the internet has said how bad Jar Jar is. But, like, Skywalker Saga just has it to where every single second in Episode 1, Jar Jar is just being beaten or something. <laughs> and it's like, okay, we get it. It's haha ha funny because everybody hates Jar Jar. But that, then the, like, the Jar Jar abuse itself get, gets annoying after a little bit. So, like, the joke, I don't know. I, I think if it was, like, a couple of times, I think it'd be funny, but... Throughout the entirety of episode one, it's constantly used. And it just gets to the point where you're just not really finding it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. I'm just trying to... Oh my gosh, I killed him. <laughs> trying to break. You know, I will say, that's something that's really fun to do with Skywalker Saga. Like, you, you'll just be walking around the hub world and you can just smack somebody in the face. <laughs> and, all, and, and kill them. And it's even funnier, because, like, you'll be following, like, a character. Because for some reason, Skywalker Saga loves its, uh... Oh, I will destroy the bathroom. You will never get in. Um, Skywalker Saga... Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh. My gosh. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> uh. Skywalker Saga loves um, just having a character walk around and have them talk while you walk behind them. So it is kind of fun to just have a character be talking. It'll be like, I don't know, Padme talking about peace and then you walk up and just punch a civilian. <laughs> or like kill him with your lightsaber. I just find it kind of funny. But those moments are like the worst moments in the entire game. Because it's, li it's literally just like those scenes in Assassin's Creed where you're just walking behind a character and just hearing them talk, hearing them spout exposition. Who do you think you are? Ah. <laughs> John Hammond. I own an island. Kind of biological preserve. Really spectacular. Spared no expense. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign off on the park, I could get back on schedule. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. Oh my gosh, now I want to watch Jurassic Park again. Yeah. I own Jurassic Park, I'm on a Blu-ray. <laughs> now I just want to play this again. I want to watch this movie. So you two, um, hmm, dig up, dig up dinosaurs? Try to. <laughs> well... Try to. I want to say it like him, but like, oh. to do that, I have to lower my voice a lot. <laughs> I don't even know if you could hear it. You'll have to get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a mathematician. Chaotician. Chaotician, actually. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh, I guess the only thing that's weird about having the voices from the movie it's because you can hear background noise, and you can hear like, like whenever it swaps to some but to an actual voice line, you can hear like the just the sound of like air <laughs> in the background. Um, but I don't know. I kind I kind of feel like it adds some sort of charm. Like there's like no no as far as I know, no other um, like no other. License games have really done that. Like, you just the exact same lines from the movie and just implemented them in the game. Um. <laughs> Clone Wars cast as a mixed performance, too. Padme's Clone Wars actress does a much better job, but honestly, even Garbage can only just seems too iconic and it's too difficult to play. Yeah. Like, like, whenever he says hello there, he says it twice, I think, in the, in the Skywalker Saga, he says hello there. And yet, it just doesn't feel the same. Um. I'll say honestly, there are some voice actors in Skywalker Saga that are definitely bad. Um, like the uh, the ones that I can just immediately think of, like Count Dooku, sounds nothing like his original version. Um, he, he sounds honestly like the Disney the Disney DVD fast play guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> he sounds like that. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Park. Woo. It's the hub world, and this is what the entirety of Skywalker Saga is. You're just walking around the hub world. And that's what you do in Skywalker Saga, you just run up and punch people. Um, oh, I can't see. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, so that one's like pretty bad. Obi-Wan's pretty bad. Luke Skywalker sounds oh, terrible. If you need spares, um, a really, get them from storage, really not from one of the control panels. Um, yeah, really, really bad impression from Luke Skywalker. Um, or really, not a really, really bad impression of Luke Skywalker. A really, really bad impression of Mark Hamill, but just a really bad Luke Skywalker. Um, oh, Han Solo. Oh my gosh. Han Solo genuinely sounds terrible. It is such a bad sound alike. <laughs> it's like they didn't even try to get somebody that sounded like him. Let's get something straight, John. Your investors, whom I represent, are deeply concerned. 48 hours from now, if they aren't convinced, I'm not convinced. I'll shut you down, John. <laughs> It's the scene. Oh. Alan, this species of Veriformin's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a of this thing. <sighs> it's the scene. It's the scene that everybody makes fun of and everybody jokes about. I remember something uh, freaking funny that was so hilarious. And that everybody found fun. I remember there was a time in like, it's, I don't know, 8th grade, 10th grade, and when I ninth grade with this place? where um, it was the dinosaurs wearing shoes, and it went, what are those? And it was the funniest the thing ever, well, we and everybody laughed. We talked the T-Rex at 32 miles an hour. Because it was hilarious, mm -hmm. of course. You said you've got a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say again, we have a T-Rex. Not uh -huh. having it in. Uh -huh. Dr. Yeah. Grant. They were exactly the you gotta exist. get in. I mean, they, they could have got a couple more. To Jurassic Park. They could have got some of the original actors back. I mean, I understand some of them not coming back, but yeah, Samuel Jackson's like a pretty this? easy guy to get. Um, I'll show you. If, if THQ can get him to do the Incredibles video game, I'm sure he can do, uh, he can do Skywalker Saga. <laughs> Let's go! I, did, I, did I just run over the lawyer? Oh, okay. No, he got, he got in the car. He's good. He'll get eaten later. It's no use. Those gates ain't moving until they install the gears and whatnots. Which is fine by me, because they've only got herbivores on this side of them. I'm not trying to punch you. I'm trying to punch these. There you go. Okay. And then you go over here. And Yoda not having the iconic Yoda death screen. Oh yeah, this, what is it like? Or is this like that? <laughs> um, you don't really, well, actually come to think of it, I don't think anybody has a death screen. I don't think anybody makes a noise when they die in Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Um, at least I, I never heard it, I mean. I mean, I died a couple times as R2-D2. Oh yeah, by the way, it is kind of strange that, like, R2-D2 and C-3PO, they actually have attacks. Like, you can actually destroy enemies with R2-D2 and C-3PO, even though C-3PO, like, basically does nothing in the original game. He just kind of, he just kind of walks around. Um, I do kind of like, though, how you can pull, you can pull C-3PO apart in the Skywalker Saga pick up his body parts, and then start punching with his body parts. I find that really funny. <laughs> okay, time for the uh, next level. You'll find a great dino fat just down there. Oh boy, thank you very much, Mr. DNA. Who 
was it that, uh, was it Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon that was in Jurassic World? They actually got Jimmy Fallon back to do the this. Most game. Advanced they got him to do lines for uh, the Hub World for Jurassic World. It's kind of interesting. His actor act? Wait, C3BO's actor actually came back? Huh. Why didn't cool. you sit down? Just one drop of blood Isn't his actor not, like, that much of a good person? DNA, the building, like, just as a person, life. isn't he kind of like a jerk? Million years ago, I mean, mosquitoes. I, I, just, like I feel like I've heard that before, Sometimes that he's actually kind of a jerk. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call amber. Using sophisticated techniques, Jurassic Park scientists extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and... Now we can make a baby dinosaur. Good day, Henry. Oh, good day, sir. Perfect time. Oh, I love this guy. I love, <laughs> I love how hey, Henry Wu, which was just like a random scientist that was only in this um, one team, is, um, um, it's not possible. It's like one thing in history with of Jurassic World and Jurassic the World: uh, uh, Fallen Kingdom, basically becomes like a supervillain. Species is it? He's, uh, he's, it's a velociraptor. He's just, he's just a guy. He's a guy that appears in one scene eight months, in the and first I do movie mean only, lethal. and then in the last four movies, the way these things one move. Of the main villains. Fifty, sixty miles per hour. If they have a good idea. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. It's like, it's like in a Batman. Um, it's like in the new. Ba it's like if the new Batman remember. movie made a random criminal from Batman 1989. One that Batman just saved, like at the start of the movie, and made him the All main right, villain. Let's feed these <laughs> that was funny. Uh, uh, well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. You can barely fit a know, goat in. Look into, look that deep into celebrity controversy. Yeah. Um, like I, I have a soft spot for Jurassic World. I actually kind of like Jurassic World. Um, there's certain things I like about it, and I can rewatch it and have a lot of fun with it. Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, though, is genuinely terrible. I hate that movie. <laughs> I can't even laugh at it. I've, I've tried... I watched it when I, like, when I first came out, and I thought it was okay, and then I think I rewatched it later, and I was like, this is terrible. <laughs> and I just can't watch it anymore. I can't rewatch it. I, just, I don't even have fun with it. I don't even have dumb fun with it. Because, like, the main characters suck. <laughs> Like, oh, Mo oh, Mo that's a different guy. Uh, Chris Pratt is fine. Um, and what's her name? Sarah Harding, I think? Um, which is not the actor's name, but the, it's the character's name. Ah, Sarah Harding, that's not her name. Who's Sarah Harding? It's a character from Jurassic Park, but who's Sarah Harding? Okay, no, Sarah Harding is an actor. <laughs> Alright. What was she in? And why is that a name that just pops in my head? Wait, no, Sarah Harding is an actor, but I think she's also a character in Jurassic Park. Whoa, what is up with this? <laughs> Who is this person? Oh, it's it's someone in freaking Oh, it's the girl in Jurassic Lost World. Why did that name come up? <laughs> Why was that the name that I immediately just clung on to? Claire. That's the girl's name in Jurassic World. It's Claire. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, Chris Pratt and Claire, they're fine. Um But it's mainly like it, it's mainly like a, the, the two Freaking hipsters, whatever their names are. I hate them so much. <laughs> um, it has Garfield himself as the main lead, Chris Pratt. Wasn't Garfield played by Bill Murray? Yeah, he's played by Bill Murray, because... Uh, you know, I watched the Garfield movie so many times. I remember that movie so easily. It was one of my favorites. 
Everybody hates that movie, but I gotta admit, I loved it. I loved it so much. I can probably still watch it today and have a lot of fun with it. Now, A Tale of Two Kitties. What is it called? Is it called A Tale of... It's called A Tale of Two Kitties, right? Because it's supposed to be like A Tale of Two Cities. Um... A Tale of Two Kitties. Um, I think he was in the live-action movie. What, Chris Pratt? No, Bill, Bill Murray was Garfield in the uh, live-action one. Um... Chris Pratt as Garfield does sound funny, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, A Tale of Two Kitties, however... Uh... I freaking no Bill Murray. What? Okay, yeah, I looked up the cast. It's it's Bill Murray. Unless you're saying like, huh? Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I, I can't stand the Tale of Two Kitties. I can't watch that one. But, you know. Did they get Bill Murray back for Tale of Two Kitties? Or did they just get somebody else? I can't even remember. Uh, oh, I better. meant Bill Murray. Okay. We just add Cal? You know what? Now thinking about it. Isn't that part of the paddock control Bill Murray panel? should be Mario. <sighs> Bill Murray should totally... You know what? He would make... He would make a good Mario. Just do, like, his normal Bill Murray voice as Mario. Um, where is that fourth camera? There it is. Um... I mean, it makes... It makes more sense than Chris Pratt. But yeah, have... Have, have Bill Murray as Mario. There you go. I mean, Bill Murray's, you know, he played, like, the fat older guy in, um, in Osmosis Jones, so he could play a fat older guy in, in Mario. Why not? Be Mario. He could do it. Fourth camera. Shadow the the family friendly. Shadow the. The. Uh, I was gonna make a Family Guy joke, but I could not think of any joke. <laughs> I, my mind went a blank on a, on a Family Guy joke. You know, they're making a Bob's Burgers movie. Uh, soon. And that kind of got me thinking, you know, Family Guy's never had a movie. Fresh beef, Which is huh? kind of surprising given oh, how popular it is. Eat better than I do. <sighs> like, The Simpsons had a movie. South Park had a movie. For adult movies, for, for adult, like, animated comedies, I'm kind of surprised that Family Guy never had a movie. Really? The, well, I, I, I kind of assume the Bob's Burger movie has been in development for a really long time. Because, uh, the show is not at peak popularity as far as I know. I mean, I watched it, like, three years ago, so... And that, and, like, I think three years ago was, like, after... Well, then again, I mean, the Simpsons movie didn't come out when she... Actually, the Simpsons movie came out when it was really unpopular, so... Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess popularity doesn't really matter. Bon How are they doing? Feeding them. The 
essence uh, of chaos. I know they're gonna kill a man. Grandpa! Kids! No, no, it's okay. We miss you. The kids saw it. <laughs> no, the guy's fine. Everything's okay. He's not dead. These will be your transports for the afternoon. The driver. No, 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 no driver. They're electric. They run on this uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spared no expense. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Disney plans to make another Simpsons. Still not clear on cash. Great idea during the shorthand is the oh, butterfly. Oh, butterfly. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking uh, uh, Central Park and get rain well, instead. Oh, yeah. like see, the see, the I'm right movie. again. Nobody uh, could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, like suddenly jump movie. out of a moving vehicle. Um, Alan. Some of the jokes were like hit and miss in this movie, but I, I thought overall it was a good one. Um. So if the jokes Don't be stay scared. good, come on, it's okay. She's um, sick. Then yeah, <laughs> I'd, I'd watch another Simpsons movie. But I mean, if the jokes are like, I don't know, season third. I have to know, insist that yeah, we get moving. I'm pass on that you know, if it's all right, I'd like to stay with Dr. Harding and finish up with the trike. Sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. Oh, what? We can't get a Lego fied version of uh, of Jeff Goldblum's line. We can't. We can't get that. <laughs> What if, what if they did, what if the lego fied version was just like, that is one big pile of, and then it's like a really badly, um, it's, it's a really badly dubbed in, like, Jeff Goldblum from another movie saying poo. <laughs> that is one big pile of poo. And it's just really badly edited in from another movie. <laughs> I'm sure he said it. <laughs> I'm sure he said it at some part. Some point in some movie. What if it's from like? What if? What if? Okay, he never said it in a movie, but like he, like they got recordings of him from like interviews or something. So it's just like, like a random interview he did ten years ago where he happened to say it. <laughs> That's so odd, though. Ugh. Um, I love, I love it how Jeff Goldblum is pulled out with the background noise and nobody else. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it depends on the lines. Like, I think the lines for this guy next to me, I think that's actually redubbed. Um. Let's see. Right. Uh, but, like, some li I think some lines are redubbed, some lines aren't, it really depends. Um. But honestly, I think all the redub lines are the ones from lesser character characters, I think. So you don't really notice them. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, that's why sometimes you don't hear background noise and it's like crystal clear audio. So she's suffering from meliotoxicity. Hey, did that taste nice, Sarah? Oh, uh, if you ever meet my daughter, don't tell her I named a six-ton dinosaur after her. What? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, it took me a second to, real to realize that joke. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, I'm gonna water the plant. I do find it kind of interesting that they that they actually focus on some parts where it's like, um, is it in the movie? Okay, so she stays here, and then I think it cuts to nighttime. And, uh, yeah, it cuts to nighttime, and, you know, that's when the, the, the famous T-Rex attack. Um, oh, no, 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 it doesn't cut to nighttime. Um, it shows Nedry stealing the, uh, like, you know, locking down the security stuff and, uh, locking, turning out the power and then, uh, shutting, uh, or stealing the, uh, Dinosaur DNA. Um, so, so yeah, and and then after that it comes to the the T Rex moment. 
Um, so yeah, I guess in that case, like, I'm, you know, to extend the level a little bit, we'll show this off. Because they're obviously not going to have you play as Nedry, although that would be really cool. <laughs> I, like, have the second part of the level you trying to steal it. Steal the uh, dinosaur DNA. But, of course, Nedry's not, like, one of the main characters, so it's kind of understandable that, that you wouldn't play as him. Um... You know what? Sort them, Lego. I keep all my extra Lego in one drawer. Um... Because I never, I never like disassemble any of my it's Lego uh, uh, sets, except for that one time when I did, and I felt terrible. Because here, this, this will make you, since your story yes. the Lego, this, this will make you laugh. Toxic, um, but the animals don't I disassembled. Sure? And, there Pretty was sure. one time. It was like last year or the year before, where I disassembled every single Lego set I own, and like a moron put them all in the same box. You know, and, I, I, and then I, like, created something else, and I was like, oh, that was neat. And then afterwards, I'm like, oh, God, what have I done now? There's just thousands of pieces. So it took me, like, three days to go through the instruction manuals of all of the sets and try and figure out which pieces were where. It was a, it was a mess. And there were some pieces that I just couldn't find. Some pieces that, like, I have no idea what happened to them. So I had to replace them with other... Um, spare pieces that I had in, um, have in my drawer. Um, yeah, most of my sets were LEGO Dimension stuff, which made it all the more annoying because some LEGO Dimensions level packs don't have a manual, so I had to, like, I had to look it up online and, and find videos right of, like, the, uh, of which, the manuals and stuff. Back to the Luckily, there are videos the storm of them. Us. Uh, it was such a mess. I the car. Oh, we destroyed the car. Jeez. There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. Jeez, I, can't, I can't believe you, dinosaur. Why'd you go destroy that car? Not far to the visitor center, Dr. Sadler. Oh yeah, I gotta be the dinosaur here. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I thought I was just gonna have me die. <laughs> All right, there isn't a bridge here. Be the dinosaur. There you go. Oh, heck. That tree fell down. It took out the gate and pulled them. It's cool because, you know, you don't have to, like, worry about collecting anything. Because you just immediately collect them when you break them. Buddy, there you go. is now officially on DVD. Um, awesome. But, uh, man, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, well, you don't necessarily want to spend, like, 20 bucks. I... And I guess they took the car I do find it well. kind of annoying how pricey DVDs are. 
Like, well, last I checked, DVDs started out as like at like twenty dollars, which that's so much money for just a movie. The crank off the gate, witch. Come on. Especially when like video games are just, you know, you can buy like Sonic Mania for twenty as well, which I think you know has way more content and way more replayability. Well, I guess I actually that really determines on how much you love Spider-Man: No Way Home. If you think it really is like replayable enough where you could watch it as many times as you would play Sonic Mania. Now the music here in this atmosphere is really nice. It's like this really nice music. There's like raininess. Really nice. While I go destroying all our tables. You know, actually, right before I started live streaming, I actually uh, got about halfway through with Spider Man Homecoming. Um. Nothing wrong with the movie, I just kind of got disinterested halfway through. Uh, just because I was thinking about other things and I was on the stream, but... Yeah. Watch the Spider-Man Homecoming. Alright, you do you, dinosaur. You just, you just keep on doing what you're doing. You didn't, dinosaur. Ooh, I got the thingy. This way, we can get to the visitor center through that hole. Homecoming I is good. Tell you how many times we needed locking yeah. mechanisms on the vehicle Stop doors? Right Item 151 on today's glitch list. <gasps> we it's have Samuel Jackson, but in a different Park movie. Also looking different. Feet, yeah. He got a mustache, and he's not bald. Dennis. Our lives are in your hands and you have butterflies. I'm totally unappreciated in my time. You know anybody who can network eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what Dude, I've been for this job? it's the Seinfeld Go guy. Ahead. All of you. Whoa. I'm approaching the Tyrannosaur paddock. Remember, viable embryos. They're no use to us if they don't survive. 1.5 million if you get all 15 species off the island. Seven o'clock, the east. Oh yeah, it's it's dinosaur babies, right? It's not DNA. <laughs> Alright, oh look, it's him. Now where's his super suit? <laughs> Got two achievements, wow. Dang, the stream's only 53 minutes. I don't want it to go on longer. Um, let me see if I can find a handheld game to play. Um, so give me a second. I think my I think my audio is gonna shut off um, after I after I exit this game. Um, or not a handheld, a digital game, I mean. Um. Hmm. Give me a second. I'm going to look through my library. You know what? Actually, I'm going to talk while I'm not in the game. And I want to see if you can, like, just say in the comments whether you can actually hear my voice.
Okay, I have decided uh, to not play anything else, actually. This will probably be the end of the stream. Um, like I mentioned, with all of the audio stuff, I, I mean... Here, I'll upload it, but I won't hesitate if it gets copyright strike. That's basically how it's going to go. Um, I'll upload it, but if it gets copyright strike, I'm just going to delete it. So, there you go. I tip for the Jurassic World stream. I know it wasn't that long. kind of wanted it to be longer, but my voice is getting a little bit dry. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of ready to do something else. So, goodbye.